Hey everyone, today I'm doing a coaster fight, and this is between my top two favorite wooden roller coasters. This is Mind Blower versus White Lightning, the two wooden roller coasters at both Fun Spot Parks. <clears throat> one of them's in each one. Mind Blower's in the Kissimmee Park, and White Lightning's in the Orlando Park. <clears throat> Mind Blower is a Gravity Group wooden coaster opened in 2017, and White Lightning is a GCI that opened in 2013. And both are different from each other. And let's get started. <laughs> Start with the height category. And I'm giving Mind Blower a 4 and White Lightning a 3. Now, this is based off of wooden roller coasters out there. Like all wooden coasters, it's not including steel coasters when it comes to height. And Mind Blower is about like 83 feet, I think. It's about like, it's 83 feet or so, 88 feet, I don't know. It's about in the 80s, but. And White Lightning is 69 feet. Like. Both, I mean, both aren't really that tall at all, but they both look pretty big, probably compared to the other rides, so. Yeah, so I'm giving these each, this score, what they're getting. So let's talk about the drop, and this is not how tall they are, this is how good they are. And Mind Blower actually has a pretty good drop. Mind Blower is a, has a pretty steep drop, like, it will, especially, if you're in the back row, I only rode this once, I rode in the back row. The back row, you will just fling through this drop, it is insane. I love Mind Blower's drop. I'm giving it an 8. I wish I could get higher, but... And then White Lightning's getting a 7, just because I'm not really as big of a fan of curve drops as I am with, like, just straight down drops. I mean, White Lightning's drop is good, that's why it's getting a 7, but just not as good as Mind Blower's drop. Let's talk about speed here. Mind Blower is getting a 6, and White Lightning's getting a 5. White Lightning goes about, like, 44 miles per hour. That's all it does, is, like, 44 miles per hour. Well, I mean, it's a family coaster, so that's that's totally explainable, explanatory. And then Mind Blower is like about 50 miles per hour, so Mind Blower is getting a six. <clears throat> this is this is based off of this is like compared to the average of the fastest wooden coaster out there, which is Lightning Rod at Dollywood. So yeah, this is the score. So let's move on to the next category, which is smoothness. This might sound very strange. I think White Lightning is rougher than Mind Blower. I mean, White Lightning is older, I will say that. Mind Blower, I mean, it's not the smoothest ride. Let's, I mean, a lot of people, like, if you know Coaster Studios or Taylor Bybee, he reviewed Mind Blower and said this ride was actually a little, like, kind of rough. I wouldn't say it was like that. I thought it was still pretty smooth. I, I thought it was pretty smooth for one coaster. Um, it, it was, I thought it was like, it was nice. White Lightning just, I think, is a little bit rougher for some reason. Probably because it's older. I mean, they're both smooth rides. They're not rough by any means. Mind Blower giving it 8. White Lightning's getting a 7. I mean, White Lightning's still pretty smooth. It's just, I mean, it's not perfect. But it's still just good smooth ride. Neither coaster is, like, rough by, like, really, like, incredibly rough by any means. Neither coaster is like that. So let's move on to Elements. And, and this is, like, I'm saying... This is Elmas, I'm doing like not like airtime or inversions because like Mind Blower has inversions, so is White Lightning. I feel like it'd just be unfair to review them like different categories. So my, I'm just doing elements for each coaster fight. So let's do let's talk about elements and Mind Blower is getting a nine because Mind Blower has a great like has a fantastic inversion. Which is that zero G roll. That zero G roll is pretty cool in my opinion. I really love that element. And the overbank curves are really nice. The airtime is crazy. That has some pretty crazy, like, legit ejector airtime we're getting. And then White Lightning also has some pretty good elements too. White Lightning has like the 90 degree bank curve and some great airtime, that curve drop. And I'm guessing, I'm not sure if this has like that trick track double up. <laughs> I don't know how that's such a meme right now. But yeah, I'm not sure if I, I don't know if it has that trick track double up. I mean, it might, but I don't know. I you can I, if you if I can guess I don't know. I need to ride Mystic Timbers. <laughs> but yeah, I wonder if it has that trick track double up. I mean, I could technically say I don't know. Let's move on to the next category, shall we? The is intensity. Yay! How intense are these rides? I'm giving them both eights. Surprisingly, these rides are both pretty intense. Mind blower. It's, I'm expecting it to be pretty intense because this is a thrilling roller coaster. Mind Blower is intense. Like, it is a pretty forceful, pretty intense ride. I mean, the thing why it's so, in, like, gets this high scores because 
how crazy it goes through. Like, it goes through the layout so fast. It is bizarre. Like, a lot of these wooden coasters really feel faster than they actually are. And that's, and it's so compact. That's why it's getting an 8. And White Lightning's the same story. White Lightning's a family coaster. But trust me, this ride is pretty intense. I am not kidding. Mind blow so White Lightning is also just as forceful as Mind Blower. Mind Blower might be a little more intense because White Lightning's more of a more, more more intense. Probably because White Lightning's more of a family coaster, but both these rides they're pretty intense. And yeah, because they're both compact. And yeah, let's move on to the next category, which is duration. How long are these rides? And these rides are honestly not long. I'd say they're about equal. I'm not sure exactly how long they are, but I can, from what I can count, they're probably about equal, so I'm giving both a four. Let's talk about theming next, and, and neither coaster really has any theming at all. Mind Blower might have a slight theme, it's, my, it's like a slight theme to explosives, I guess? I don't know. And White Lightning is basically leading to nothing. So I'm giving Mind Blower a two just because it kind of has like that explosive theme like in the front of the of the train, and White Lightning basically is nothing. So I'm giving White Lightning a one. <coughs> Next up we have the restraints category, and both coasters have very comfortable restraints. Mind Blower has like that train with like the really big like lap bars, which are really nice. I I know there's seatbelts on, however, I don't think I even wore a seatbelt on Mind Blower, which is funny. And a White Lightning, oh boy, they have those Mulane Flyer trains, and I love Mulane Flyer so much. They make you feel like you're going faster than you actually are. Mulane Flyers are some of my favorite trains on roller coasters. So both are getting a 10. Let's talk about the setting, and both coasters neither really has the best setting. White Lightning is basically next to like a street, I guess. So you can like drive by this coaster, and it kind of looks cool, so I'm giving it a 2, just because... Plus, you can see Universal from, like, the top of White Lightning, which is kind of nice. Mind Blower is, like, kind of next to a lake, kind of next to a parking lot. Kind of, You can call it a parking lot coaster. So, I'm just giving these a two. So, we have our winner here. Who won this co coaster battle? And the winner is Mind Blower! Congratulations, you have defeated White Lightning with a score of 61 to 56. Congratulations, Mind Blower. You are the better of the two wooden coasters at the Fun Spot Parks. I love both of these rides. Both are my top two wooden coasters. But you all know Mind Blower is my favorite wooden coaster. And and that will do it for this coaster fight. What is, which one do you prefer? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Hit me up in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more coaster fights and other good content in this channel. And catch you all next time. Have a theme day.